do you need a controller to DJ with DJ Pro AI? I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and in this video, I'm gonna explain to you guys why you do and you don't need a controller for DJing with DJ Pro AI. All right, so the short answer to get right to the point is no. You don't need a controller to use the DJ Pro AI app for the iPad. You can just download the app and boom, just start DJing with just the iPad. And the iPad is one of the best DJ controllers ever made. It's touchscreen, it's responsive, and you can DJ professional DJ gigs with just the iPad. But there are going to be some drawbacks that could be overcome with just a simple inexpensive controller like this one. So, first of all, if you are if you are planning to use DJ Pro AI as your DJ software, which when you're just when you first start DJing, it is the most important thing to decide is which software you're using because once you get used to one software, it might be annoying to get used to a whole new software. So, if you have decided to use DJ Pro AI for the iPad, or if you've been using it for a while and you wanna know if you should upgrade to getting a controller. So first of all, when you're practicing and when you're learning new stuff like beat matching, scratching, effects, samples, and all this stuff, I highly recommend to practice and master these skills on the iPad itself without a controller. So this will give you the ability to spontaneously a DJ at parties. So if there's a party and it's kind of boring and some people want to listen to music, you could just connect to a Bluetooth speaker or connect any connect your iPad to the speakers and start DJing. You don't need any equipment. You don't need to bring a huge crates of records. You have all your music from streaming services and you have your fully functional DJ machine, which is your iPad, and you're ready to go. Same thing is if you are doing a professional gig and you did bring a controller or you brought multiple controllers or different types of setups and something goes wrong with your controller, maybe a drink gets spilt on it or it just stops working, then you could finish the party with your phone. You could finish the party with just your iPad. And even if your iPad goes and then you have the DJ Pro AI app on your phone, you could still finish the set because you know how to DJ with just the touch screens. So that is something that I cannot stress enough, especially if you're someone that used to DJ other ways like with Serato on laptops or CDJs and stuff like that and you want to switch over to DJ Pro AI, I highly recommend it mastering DJing with just the iPad. And then after, if you don't know already how to do it with the controllers, then you could practice with the controllers, but only after you master it on just the iPad. So what are you going to not be able to do if you are DJing with the iPad and no controller? So you may be asking me, what's the difference if I use a controller and I don't? Number one is if you're not gonna use a controller, then you could pretty much forget about these. Because the new iPads, the, the future of the iPads is the USB-C connection. And for some reason, Apple thinks moving forward and new devices, they take things away. They usually don't add more. So they took away our headphone jacks several years ago. So when I first started DJing, I had an older iPad where it just had a lightning connection on one side and then a headphone jack on the other side. So you could connect your, you could be DJing, charging your iPad, and then you can be, without an adapter, have music coming out the other side and then if you got like a $20 adapter or some of the controllers came with it, there was a headphone splitter. So just one simple splitter, it, you could get the audio into your main speakers and then you get your audio into your headphones. Now, if you wanted to do that, you would need multiple adapters in order to do this. You would need a USB-C adapter that has a headphone jack in it and then also charges the iPad, and then you're gonna have to plug in the adapter for the headphones into there, and you're gonna have all these adapters, and I say in one of my videos, the more adapters, the more splitters you have plugged in, the less reliable the connections are gonna be, the, the less, the lower quality the audio, and those are all big no-nos when it comes to DJing, because we need to have stable, uh, accurate connections into our speakers and into our device so that nothing happens, nothing gets unplugged or damages the quality of our set. 
So that is one thing to keep in mind. If you plan on DJing with headphones, if you're a DJ that that manually beat matched and you love DJing with headphones, that is the biggest thing that you're gonna miss. And if you want to solve that very easily, is just get one of these. This has a audio connection, audio in output here, and then headphones here. And then even if you don't want to use the controller that much, you could just use it for the audio interface. Now, another reason why you want to get used to using the iPad to DJ with is because not every controller is going to have every is not is going to be able to do everything that you want to do with DJ Pro. So this controller is pretty limited. Cross fader, pads, volume fader, jog wheels, tempo slider. Now, if you want to do effects, you want to do samples, you want to do all the stuff that DJ Pro could offer, uh, DJ with four decks, video mix and all that, then you could do use the jog wheels, use the cross fader on your controller, but the rest of your DJing, you're going to be doing with the touchscreen. So it's important to have your setup where you could reach your controller and you could reach your iPad at the same time, so you could switch from DJing on the iPad to DJing with just the, to DJing with the controller. So it makes any controller, even the smallest ones like this, into a super controller because you have all of the access to everything with the touchscreen. Now with with laptops, it's a little bit different. You got to move the mouse, you have to press keys, and you don't really get that feel of DJing where you could just you know, spin the, the jog wheel, press a button like that, and DJ with the touchscreen. Now, a lot of new DJ controllers for other softwares have these touchscreens built in, and I believe the future of DJ controllers is go just gonna be uh, one big touchscreen, and then you can like download different controllers onto it, and there's already controllers like that, so we may not be seeing the controllers like this with actual knobs and buttons. So that's another reason why you should get used to DJing with just the iPad. Now, another thing which is the future and there's no way around it uh, is going to be Bluetooth. So, the best way, the being able to DJ with the iPad is all you have to do, if you're at a party, I had someone comment on one of my recent videos that they were at a New Year's party and there was no music and they took their iPad and they rocked, they had a great time DJing for everyone and taking over the party by just connecting their iPad. So, all you need is a Bluetooth speaker and you, there are so many different ones. Some of them, uh, if you get a good one, it could be enough to do gigs. There are ones, professional ones that are uh, on Bluetooth. And then now, all you need to do is just simply connect your iPad in, to Bluetooth and there you go. You could DJ like this. Instead of being a DJ behind the decks, you know, DJing like that. You could get up, get in the crowd, DJ, dance around. You could do games like uh, like Coke and Pepsi. You could do karaoke. You could be going there, running these dances, doing the cha-cha slide right there with the audience, and you don't have to be stuck DJing and just behind the deck all the, the whole time because now you could take your, your whole DJ system, you could take it with you. Now, there is going to be a slight learning curve if you never DJed with Bluetooth before, because currently, uh, I would say like almost all Bluetooth speakers are going to have a slight latency. So the there are Bluetooth controllers and those don't have any latency, but with the audio over Bluetooth, there is a slight latency, a slight delay. So with DJing, we have to be very precise when we're doing beat matching, when we're adding effects, when we're doing samples, and that slight delay could really could really hurt our DJing if we're not used to it. So there are several ways to to fix this, and that number one is going to be for all your songs to have cue points, to prepare your tracks in your playlist, to have cue points of where to start your mix, where to end the mix. I'll show you an example right here. So this song over here, if you look down here, start and and the drop. So as soon as I load up this song, I don't need to listen to the headphones. I don't need to pre-cue. I already know when I'm going to start the song, when I'm going to end the song, and where the drop is, which helps me know how the song works. Another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to be looking at the waveforms. Once you've been DJing with DJ Pro AI for a while, you're going to know what each color and each shape of the waveforms is going to sound like. So instead of having to listen to it on your headphones or having to listen to stuff coming up and be exactly precise on when to start and when to stop 
things and when to add things, you're gonna know just by looking at the waveforms on your iPad. So it's pretty simple. The bigger the waveforms, the more bass. The smaller the waveforms is gonna be like an intro kind of small sound. And I recommend studying these waveforms, studying what color makes what sound, what shape makes what sound. And then this way, you're ready to go and you don't need a controller, you don't need headphones. All you need is your iPad and you're ready to go. So I hope this helped you guys decide if you should get a controller or decide if you should download the app at all. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I try to get back to all of the comments. And if you found value in this video, subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. Thank you.